What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some of the exotics going into Season of the Deep that I think will be pretty interesting to use or at least to try out with some different builds. There's, of course, a lot of exotic changes, a lot of super changes. And this kind of leaves, uh, I think, a lot of play players wondering exactly what will be best to use or what will be fun to try out. There's been some conversations about some of these exotics that are getting buffed. And I think some of these were probably ones that you may want to go ahead and get out of your vault and maybe go ahead and rank up or consider trying to find a build or thinking up of a build right now for them. First of all, the Oath Keepers for the Hunter, they have a new functionality where bows will get bonus damage when fully drawn. Uh, this adds to the kind of the existing idea of that uh, perfect draw we have. I think this will be a very good uh, set if you like to use bows maybe in Nightfalls or harder content or if you're just a fan of using bows in general. Next for the hunter would be the Radiant Dance Machines. Now kills extend your free dodge you get from the exotic and it does not deviate when you get too far away from enemies anymore. Combine that with reload dodge and that's a lot of, of damage you will be able to put out. Um, this does not work of course with suspending or slam on strand. But I think those Radiant Dance Machines now will actually be worth maybe getting out uh, of the vault, knocking off the dust, and using them yet again. When it comes to the Titan, or comes to the Titan, we have the no backup plans. It gives you a moderate benefit to AE and reload on shotguns, but the main thing that this is going to do is you know, avoid overshield. It gives you damage buff on shotguns. We have not heard how much of a damage buff you're going to get to those shotguns, but I know there's a lot of shotgun fans out there. I think no backup plans will definitely be something people are looking to use again. Uh, for the, also for the Titan, the Stronghold, it says uh, no more heal on Perfect Guard as it will simply reduce PVE damage by 50% at baseline when blocking. Uh, then when you stop blocking, you restore a times two with a timer based on the number of blocked shots given just, you know, given what just got nerfed about some of the things in the game. This will kind of make you almost invincible there for a certain point. So I think strongholds could definitely be something that uh, would definitely be a, a, a thing that you can work into a build uh, in different ways in uh, for in PVE because you get that reduction by 50% for that PVE damage kind of baseline when you're blocking. And like I said, you're pretty much not going to be able to receive a whole lot of damage when all this is going on. So I think those strongholds for the Titan will be really good. Now, when it comes to the Warlock, we know the Starfire Protocol is getting a huge nerf. And one thing that a lot of people have been talking about that I have not heard or said in a long time is Vesper of Radius. Uh, or Radius. Um, this is one that's going to be kind of interesting. You will uh, Vesper will make your Rift Pulse every five seconds, dealing 200 damage in PvE. Enemies defeated by those shockwaves explode in kind of a chain reaction. And if you're running arc, the explosion also uh, blinds enemies. So this will also work in PvP. It's not going to do as much damage, of course. But on the PvE side, considering that's what I usually play the majority of, and I'm a PvE fan, I think Vesper of Radius is definitely going to be a top choice for Warlocks now. And like I said, this is something that I've not really talked about or even really remembered uh, the, I even had it. I knew it was in my vault, but when's the last time I could really remember putting Vesper of Radius on? I think now it will be something that I will definitely be using in this coming season. And last but not least, the Chromatic Fire for the Warlock. Um, this is kind of an interesting thing going on with this. Kinetic Takedowns now have increased damage and range, but the cool part kind of about the whole thing is that now the explosions apply uh, effects which include blind for arc, uh, scorch for solar, uh, stasis of course will be the slow, and strand would be sever, and weaken for void. This is something um, that I think a lot of people could make a lot of different builds around this, considering you're going to get those kind of effects from those subclasses depending on what subclass you're running. So chromatic fires will definitely be something that I'm also going to kind of be looking at to maybe, uh, like I said, get out of the vault and try out when the next season comes out here in just another week. Leave me a comment. Let me know what exotic you're looking forward to maybe using that you haven't used in a long time that's getting buff. But there's a lot of good stuff out there now. Anyway, guys, let me comment your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time.
Peace.